Aloha YouTube. This is your boy Crypto Roots. And do you hear that? Do you hear it? I don't hear shit. And that's why I live here. Goddamn. I'm telling you, it's a whole psychological readjustment. Like, it really is. Like, when I go to sleep, there's no sounds, no dogs, no cars, and there's no light. There's no, no light. And just the, you just hear the river running, and like maybe a couple birds, a little animals, and damn, it's, it's crazy. But uh, I've been living like this for the last 10, 12 years, man. Hawaii, I've been to Thailand, I've been just all, all different types of Mex places in Mexico, man, and the U.S. So I'm just, this is, I'm built for this. I'm built for this. I just catch good vibes. You know, I, I, I try to carry good, good intentions, and, you know, life just leads me uh, different places. So I'm not sure how long I'll be here, but right now I'm enjoying while I'm here, you know. So, and shouts out to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, so today I want to talk about being a crypto, why I, ch why I choose to be a crypto in investor and not a crypto trader. And uh, this is not to discourage crypto trading at all, okay? Because we need you. Like there's, there's different purposes, different tra traders play in the market, all right? Such as arbitrage traders. We need them, especially for Uniswaps and decentralized exchanges because they don't uh, rely on oracles. So... Why am I a crypto investor? Because, first of all, trading to me is just a much more frequent way of uh, trading. Trading, Investing is just a long-term kind of trading. So you're investing in maybe three or four years, five years down the road, you, you're gonna make a sell, right? Trading is just, to me, is much more frequent. Day trading, even by the month or whatever. But I believe in this, the long-term of this cryptocurrency game, I really do. And we're not even close to a $500 billion market cap when the all-time high was $850 billion. So we haven't even hit a trillion dollars. This is supposed to be a world asset class, an asset class that's around the world. And we're not even at a trillion dollars. I don't think we're anywhere close to where we really could be. And that's one of the reasons why I choose to invest long term. And the, especially with yield farming, you like the way I comp the compound, the interest, and you, what liquidity mining, and there's just so many ways to make more money to me investing than taking the risk of actively trading back and forth. To me, that's a short term strategy, and that's it's it's there for people. But me, I'm a patient, disciplined, um, hard working dude, so I like to focus on what I'm doing and not so much the markets, right? I look at the markets, but I, I make my investments very. Uh, selectively and uh, th through different long-term time periods with the strategy behind it, right? So I'm not just going in and out, in and out. If I'm buying something right now, I'm holding it. I'm holding it and I'm compounding it and I'm yield farming it. So by the time I'm ready to really, really cash out when this, when this shit really goes up, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not here to brag or anything, but I'm just setting myself up for the future. You know, I feel I would be doing myself a disservice if I'm trading these valuable currencies just for in the short term. And that's not to dis, uh, dis, you know, disregard anyone, but that's why I'm a crypto investor. Plus, I got shit to do. Like, I like to program. I like to study. I like to be out in nature. I like to be with my woman. I like to travel. I can't be trading and be always focused on like, that's just not my lifestyle. So I choose to just have very strategic investments and cryptocurrencies and uh, risk management. So my shit spread out. My Wi-Fi is making me more Wi-Fi, right? My ETH is making me more ETH. My DAI is making me more DAI. Like whatever I find valuable, I find ways for it to make more of its own without me having to do anything. That's why I fuck with interest bearing tokens. Interest bearing tokens, tokens that make you money just by holding them. I no longer am satisfied with just by holding a cryptocurrency. I need to hold a cryptocurrency that's making me more of that cryptocurrency or another cryptocurrency without losing ownership. This is the level I'm on. You got to hit me up for the mentorship if you want to know how to do this shit. But I'm a crypto investor because I feel safer. It fits my lifestyle. And I could probably make much more money when this shit really turns around than I could in trading, to be honest. That's my opinion. So that's why I choose to just selectively, strategically, uh, invest and have different uh, levels of risk management for different for different portfolios long-term mid-term and short-term short-term portfolio I really don't have much short-term portfolio because what I like to invest in I like to invest in the long term now there's some high risky plays that I like to you know but even then I'm like yo this may have potential this may have potential so like that's why I'm a crypto investor man I just have to just chill out study more Warren Buffett style and then when it's time it's time to execute when it's time to sell, it's time to sell. 
you know, and I have no emotions attached to it, you know, because the, the money's making me more money. The Wi-Fi is making me more Wi-Fi. All right, much love. I just wanted to spit some game. And, and shouts out to all the crypto traders too. But I'm telling you, crypto investing, in my opinion, is really where it's at. All right, peace. Aloha.